uh, the quote from the press. Here we go. Uh -oh. Here it is. Let's get it. He said, uh, question was, why did you bypass coaches on your staff that already had head coaching experience, Gus Bradley and John Fox, and even Bubba Ratron, who's up and coming for Jeff Saturday? Why is Jeff Saturday with no college or NFL coaching experience a better fit for the franchise? He said, you said it. Because he's a better fit, he's the best man for the job, and there's no question about it in my mind. And I've been around it for a long time. The last coach I hired was the interim head coach, and that was Bruce Arians. It was the right coach, so Saturday was the best guy. That's why there's no other mystery behind it. What do you guys think about that? Uh, yeah, Bruce Arians, the guy who's been coaching since 1979 and started under Bear Bryant um, from Alabama. That guy, yeah, probably a pretty damn good head coach. Uh so yeah, quite quite a lot of experience there from Bruce Arians. Um, and if you haven't ever read that book, um, Bruce Arians' book, I definitely recommend it. I, yeah. I usually go through it about once a year, but it, fantastic book. But yeah, started coaching in 1979. Was a disciple of Bear Bryant back in Alabama, um, where he got his his start from. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, having a guy like, like that and hiring him is a lot different than having a guy who's never coached a single college or NFL game. You got to remember too, at the time, Bruce Arians was hired from Temple University to be the head coach. He was thirty-one years old, thirty-one or thirty-two, thirty-one or thirty-two. He was at the time the youngest head coaching hire in NCAA football history. Um, so the guy's literally been a head coach since he was. Younger than I am. Um, yeah, yeah, quarterback risper. That's the name of it. Um, yes, sir. If you, yeah, one if of you the can, best to do it. Yeah, fantastic book. So, yeah, Bruce Arians is an incredible head coach. I thought, personally, for me, and I know this was unpopular at the time, but they should have rolled with him over Pagano. But um, And even now, if, if there was a way you could convince me that we could get Bruce, I know he's 70 years old, but. Man, if we could get him out of that front office role in Tampa Bay and get him to come back to this team and coach this team, yes, I would I'm, do it. I'm sold on Bruce. I want Bruce with a young quarterback. If we draft a guy, there's no better mentor for a young quarterback than a guy like Bruce Arians is. And I think um, his importance is showing, like, as of this season for the Buccaneers in general, like, you can just see it, like, how important Bruce was on that sideline compared to where he is now. Like, they really needed Bruce, man. They really do. Yeah. yeah, one of the best coaches in, in football at, at, at any level of football. He doesn't get his flowers. Shame on Yeah, he, he, he really doesn't. The last coach that I hired. 